Good morning, brothers. Welcome to A Brown Bag Gentleman. Today is a special Thanksgiving Day video. I figured I'd go ahead and pop one out because I haven't shaved in four days. I didn't shave on Tuesday, so it really needs a shave. I got a four-day growth. So you can see that, yeah. Four-day growth. It's pretty rough. So we need a razor that can handle it. So I think I've got that razor. I think we've got that razor. The Razor Rock, yeah, the, the version three stainless steel. What model is that? I it escapes me. You guys know what that is. You've seen a ton of them. I like the weight of this thing. I like, the, you know, feels good. That those little groove lines there work for keeping it from slipping on my hand. Yeah, I just, I enjoy the shave and that should be able to handle this. But you see the bit blade gap too, if you can see the blade gap. No, it's not going to focus, is it? Oh, is it going to work? Oh, there you go. See, you can kind of see the blade gap a little bit. So there's a little bit of blade gap there, a little bit. So I think it'll handle four days growth. So let me wet the face, wash the face, all that, and get ready, and I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. Face is all washed now. It's all damp. You can see the wetness on my t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to lather up with the West Coast Shaving Brush. This is the Tuxedo Knot. And I suppose I should tell you the soap. This is a holiday soap. Had it for a couple of years, a couple of seasons. This will be season three of using this. I only use it during the season because, yeah, it's a Christmas season. So I like to save it. It's fun. Let me get the lid up, lid out here. This is Phoenix Otters and Accoutrements Lump of Coal. <laughs> it's a light sand. It's, you know, a little powdery. Tolerable for me because I'm not really a powder fan. It's tolerable for me. It's just, it's just, it's a nice scent. It is a nice scent. I'll give it that. <laughs> Of course, it lathers up real good, and it's. But I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's not really white. It's gr more gray because the, the soap is black. So yeah, let me let me show you this, the soap and the thing. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see here. It, you know, it looks more grayish now because I yeah, I just whipped it up, so there's a lot of like foam still on top of it. But when that dries out, it's black. The soap is black. So let me see here. Bear with me. Let's warm up the razor now in the sink. And there is, oh, disclosure, there is no product in my hair. This just washed it and that's all. And I'm just sitting there. I'm going to put the product in after this video and after I put on my hooded sweatshirt so I don't mess it all up. <laughs> Pass one. Oh, effortless. Four days growth and it's just zooming right through it. Of course, I had the version two Hulk green one of this razor before and liked that enough that I wanted to pull the trigger on getting the stainless steel version, which I like even more. But I hope my son-in-law, Ryan, is enjoying the green one, the Hulk, because <laughs> I gifted that to him. There. Pass one is done. So, let's see, I'm not sure. It's, um, it's, I don't know what time it is right now. If I can tell my watch, no, nope, I can't tell looking at my phone. It's in video mode, it won't show me the clock. And I'm not wearing a watch right now. I've been wearing my new watch kind of nonstop. <laughs> but not right now. It took me five months to order the, the Citizen watch that I that I just recently re, uh, received. It was, a, it was an anniversary of Parison back in June. So I ordered it. My wife ordered, let me order it. But it took in just until about a week and a half ago for it to come in. So was it, was it not this past Saturday, but the previous, so yeah, almost two weeks, almost two weeks ago when it came in. And it's a moon phase, stainless steel bracelet with a, with a more you know modern moon phase. And I'm like, I just wanted a moon phase watch. My old stainless steel citizen would finally wore out and it was just time to replace it. So this is the replacement. 
And I got to be my weekend kick around watch. The dag dome thing is so pretty. I just like, I'm afraid to <laughs> scratch it up. So once it gets the first couple of scratches, I won't mind so much. But right now it's looking pretty. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, pass two. And, oh, I did, uh, from the last razor you saw me use the, the uh, Excalibur razor. When I was done with that last week, all I did was take the blade out of that and put it in this. So this is like shave number five with that blade, which is nothing. You guys know ours and blades last a while. I can easily get like 14 shaves out of that, no problem. So I've decided to go back to back with the, with the artisan style razors. Oh, this thing is just effortless. Oh, move it on that side. There we go. Yeah, oh, move it in front. I got it. Oh, move it right there. Smooth. There we go. Smooth. Now it's put in there. So, yeah, obviously from the side, it gets it under there. No problem. There, two passes. And it goes pretty quick. Yes, I'm rinsing out more because it's just a single edge, not a double edge. But it's wider too. But it cuts a big swath. I'm feeling like I want a little more water. There we go. Just dip the tips in the sink. There you go. Just add a little more water to that. It's starting to get a little dry. But my last lather was so like runny, just almost not really as, I mean, it was runnier than I usually liked it to be. So I went a little less water this time. I was using, of course, using another Phoenix soap. So it worked just about perfect. And I put lather right there, which I don't normally like to shave on the third pass. So I'll just go over it lightly just to remove it because I just don't like doing three passes right here or under the nose. Okay, third pass against the grain. There. Of course, Thanksgiving Day, we're into the holiday season now. And of course, here in the States, it's Thanksgiving Day today. Thursday here is Thanksgiving Day. A lot of people have take Friday off too, make it a four-day weekend. My company really does have Friday as a holiday too, but I've chosen to volunteer to work for Friday. So I will be here on Friday. But for me, it's kind of, there's such volume of work for what I'm doing that it'd be a good little catch-up day on some stuff that I need to clean up and what have you. So that's what I'm hoping to have time for by working Friday. I'm not going to be um, Black Friday shopping. I'll probably do a little online shopping for my daughter and son-in-law and granddaughter. Oh, that's so smooth and nice. Wow, that's nice. You see, I just had some cleanups low oh, right there. It cleans up nice. Oh, this razor. I just really like this razor. This razor is enjoyment to use. And for me, that's shaving. Shaving should be enjoyment. If you're not enjoying your equipment or their software, your, your, your soaps and what have you, then yeah, yeah, you need to do something else there. Because really, you, need to, you want to enjoy it. And that's probably one of the reasons that I try to steer people toward like an Edwin Jagger as their very first razor and not one of the super cheapies. I mean, if you're really budget-minded, yeah, try one of those lesser expensive ones I've shown you, the repairs and some of the other ones you can get from the drugstore. I think even the Gillette you can get from Walgreens, you can get cheaper now now that's been out for a year or so so 
yeah, get something, but get something you like it. I would highly recommend you either the, the Gillette or the Edwin Jagger as a first razor, really, from my experience, for just the quality that you're getting for that and the smoothness and and not too aggressive, but not too tame either. So it's something razor if it's, if you've got sensitive skin. It's one of those razors you can go into a little bit if you need to, but for me, it just hit me right off the bat. It just it just worked well right off the bat. Solid eight out of ten razor, really just solid. And eight out of ten is really a really good score. So for for my scoring anyway, I can tell you that. Yeah, if it's an eight out of ten, it's it's staying in my rotation. <laughs> so my my top shelf, the ones that are in my my top box are yeah, they're all eight out of tens or better. And I yeah, I have I separated out I separated out my my single edges for the most part um, into a separate box. But I do have my the one single edge that's in my top rotation box is the leaf twig um, thorn. So that's more of a use year-round thing, and if you use it as a regular shaver, where I use it just a regular leaf twig, it's just my under the nose um, in the summertime when I have facial hair. That's that's just me. It's what I do. It's what I that's what I enjoy. And that's it. Enjoy your shaving. Enjoy your product you're using. And you know you don't have to spend a lot of money for it. Now, there are expensive stuff out there. There are middle road stuff, and there's some lesser expensive. And I like to kind of show you everything to give you an idea. So yeah, I, I do enjoy some of the less expensive stuff too. And some of the stuff surprises me how much I enjoy it. Uh, and I have some high-end stuff too. And I, oh yeah, <laughs> it does not disappoint. It's just good stuff. It just, it just really enjoy it. And you're going to see my latest acquisition for probably Christmas day. I'll show you that, but let me pause while I wash this soap off because it's starting to dry in my face. So let me wash this off. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I've washed the soap off my face. I've washed up my my um, shaving gear and put it away. And now it's time to splash on some cold water and put on some alum and some mattress shave. So bear with me. Turn the sink on. I've already let it run cold a little bit. So let me just splash some cold water on this brisk winter morning or late fall morning. There. Ooh. Yes. Nice and brisk. And I don't even pre-wash, because my face is dripping wet, I don't even bother wetting the, the, the alum itself. Don't need to when the face is this wet. All right. Oh, little spot from last time I got myself, but and just a little skin blemish here. Of course, the alum block will help the skin blemish as well. That's why I like alum, I prefer it to to witch hazel, but I still use witch hazel. I still have it. <laughs> Alrighty, so there's that. Let me just dry off the face. Maybe I will get a dedicated face towel for Christmas, hanging it off the wall. But for now, yeah, we use the hand towel sitting on the side of the cabinet here. <laughs> Alrighty, Emperor today. Mixing my brands a bit. Although I have the Phoenix Cologne one, so maybe I'll do that next. Let's do that next. All right, bear with me while I reach down to my cabinet for my Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements Creed Aventus homage, which is Doppelganger Gray. Oops, not that drawer. Here it is, Doppelganger Gray. Share motif here. Oh yeah, and that's sweeter than the one I just put on. The Emperor is not as sweet. So there we go. Now I'm all smelling good. Going to church here in another hour, I guess. So I'll say time to put my shirt on and put some product in the hair. And get going with this. I gotta go chop some wood for the fire here. We're gonna have a nice fire in the fireplace here for Thanksgiving Day. Just gonna have an enjoyable day. And I hope you do as well. Go with God.